Hey, and welcome back. I'm Jermaine Morgan. And today I want to talk to you guys about just letting the groove do the work. So stay tuned. Alright, so I wanted to touch on this subject, talking about letting the groove do the work. We're in an era now where it's like attack of the bass players, where it, what it feels like. And uh, it's cool in some instances, but I think it's a, a conversation that needs to be had amongst bass players. I think it's amazing with all the young players that are coming up and all the information that's available, especially on YouTube. There's so much information that you can take in. Everybody's learning all these different things on bass, all these different licks. I know myself, I teach a lot. but we have to figure out when it's enough and when it's maybe too much. And in this lesson, I'm not condemning or promoting one or the other, but what I do want you to do is start being aware of what you are playing and figuring out what works better for the groove. What, uh, something I talked about in a few lessons ago, trying to figure out what the song is saying, what the song is asking for. And a lot of times you can let the groove do the work and we don't have to do as much work as bass players. In this lesson, this particular song you hear me playing is called Sunshine for an artist, Peggy Moore, who's actually my mom I produced. So if you want this song, I'll put the link in the description. I did play the bass on the original song and I did write the song. So if you like the groove, comment, let me know what you think about the groove. But what I'm going to do today, I'm going to play the song two ways. You heard me playing in the beginning where I was just kind of laying back, playing the groove and not doing much movement, but on this next way, I want to play it in a way where I'm actually doing a lot more movement. And I also want you guys to comment below, let me know which one you like the most, and tell me why you like uh, 
either one the most. Again, this is not a lesson to condemn or promote one or the other, but I just want you guys to kind of be aware of what's happening in the group. So I'm going to play it again, and I'm going to move a little bit more since the first one was more laid back. I'm going to move around on the bass a little bit more on this take and let me know what you think. Okay, so you get the idea. There's definitely a lot more happening with this time around as opposed to the first time I played it when I was letting it breathe, kind of creating a little bit more space, letting the drums, letting the other instruments do the work for me and just kind of being that foundation and being that support system, but just giving you that solid bottom. Um, so again, comment below, guys. Let me know which one you prefer as a player or as a musician or whoever you are listening to this. Let me know in the comment section which one you prefer and why you prefer either one. So my idea with this track uh, when I was writing the song and, and even my idea if I'm not writing the song and I'm just a session player and uh, somebody wants me to put bass down on a song like this, I'm really trying to listen to what's all happening in the song. And for me, I can honestly say... I was not really paying attention on the second round. I was not really paying attention to everything that's happening around me, like the organ, the the rolls, the the clavi, um, the whatever else that was in the track. The horn is a lot going on in the track, and because the, the the track was grooving so much, I was just having fun, just you know, seeing how much stuff I can put in there. At the same time, trying to be tasteful, but I can honestly say I wasn't paying as much attention to every instrument in the band as opposed to the first time I was laying more back and appreciating everything that was around me and listening to those things and maybe getting in and getting out where I could if not just leaving it open altogether. again I'm not saying one is right or one is wrong because I've played in situations where it's like the purest mentality where bass plays the bass and nothing else no licks no feels nothing i come from a background of quartet music from mississippi so i understand it i get it i come from a strong traditional background but at, at the same time i've been around playing with different musicians and playing in different scenarios where i had to come out more and my job depended on me being more aggressive and more uh, digging into the music and playing more feels and that type of stuff as a bass player. So I understand it from both sides and that's why I'm saying that I'm not condemning it one way or the other but what I want you guys to be aware of is which one are you giving in this song and is there a chance in every song you're not listening to everything that's going on but kind of doing your own thing, you're enjoying the drum groove or you're enjoying the, the feel of the song and you're kind of doing your own thing because one thing again I've noticed the more I played, the less I listened to everybody. 
but the less I play, the more I listen to everybody. So I just want to kind of give you guys some things to think about today and I want to get too much into that with this YouTube lesson. But if you want more of this full lesson, be sure to click the link in the description and I'll talk to you guys on next week. Peace. Hey, thanks for watching today's video. And listen, if you enjoyed the content, click the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on my notifications so you can be notified each week once I post a new video. I really appreciate you guys being here and check it out. If you want more content like this and if you want to get even more in depth on the bass lessons, remember to head over to JermaineMorgan.net. There I have many more bass lessons. I talk a little bit more in depth on some of these subjects that we've covered here on YouTube. And I also have music. Most of you don't know but I am an artist as well so I do have music available there if you want to hear me really play <laughs> I have music there so check it out and I will see you guys on next week thank you I'm out of here